Good morning, La La Land, and welcome back. Today, we are literally just, as you can see in the background, doing our usual morning routine. We're at our post waiting for our boat to come pick us up and take us somewhere in this resort. We're actually about to go eat breakfast right now. But today is going to be an awesome, jam-packed, epic day, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Uh, once again, guys, we have been moving all over this city. Like, we are, we've been everywhere. We've been at every main attraction. We've been doing everything. And we're gonna keep these babies going for you guys. Uh, I apologize about the delay. Thank you so much for hanging in there and uh, you know chilling with us. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this just as much as we enjoy living it out. Our boat is literally on its way right now to come pick us up right here over my left shoulder. And it's gonna take us to that Mexican restaurant that we ate at yesterday that wasn't really Mexican, but it was really delicious. Uh, and yeah, then beach day and we're living it up, but I gotta hop on this boat, guys. So guys, this is my baby. We're back at your favorite Arabic Mexican restaurant. <laughs> it's wild to even say that. And we're about to sit down and have breakfast. <laughs> okay guys, here's the breakfast for this morning. Let the games begin. And by the way, this green juice that you guys have seen every single breakfast is our lemonade, cucumber, and mint. This thing is everything these drinks are life true story is that right babe it's it is if we could bottle this up and bring it back with us i promise you it would so good done you go my friend so that right there right here it's for me right here yeah this is camel milk right that's right do you like it is it any good very nice your favorite it's a favorite <laughs> tasting something different but it's very nice yeah this is my first time trying it so very good. Very good. Very strong. Nice one. That's very nice. Camel milk is a bit. better than cow milk. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. So, cow milk is different, but this is the local speciality. It's very nice. You can try with it. I will. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Thank you. Some coffee or tea or Cam yeah. Camel's milk. So, as you just seen, I had our chef drop off some camel's milk. I've never had camel milk. And like the thought of it literally makes my mouth water. Maybe not in the most positive way, but hopefully I don't react because my stomach is very Western. And I'm pretty sure by the look of this, it's like, I think there's like hair in here. It looks like salt grains there's on the no top. There's no hair in there. It, it literally is as thick as a milkshake because I don't believe they pasteurize their stuff here. So I'm gonna spend a little bit in the toilet, but uh, we do it for you, La La Land. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Actually, it tastes, hold on. A foodie will try anything twice. It tastes like cow's milk, but like, Salty and sweaty. Don't have a tea, guys. So, guys. If there was a way that milk could taste almost gamey, like, that's exactly what this tastes like. It tastes like a gamey version of milk and it's very thick. Um, it's not like, it's not nasty. It's very thick. It's almost like a melted milkshake kind of thick. Um, like this is like two stages away from being full on camel butter, but it's not bad. It's, it's, it's really, really good. It's just, it's a mild hint of salt in it. Um, and kind of smells like sweaty camel titties just saying guys guys this is Veronica about to drink the camel's milk as you can see I already emptied out about half of it so let's go team Veronica guys oh come on bigger sip it does not taste salty it is thick it tastes like one percent milk 1% milk. Yeah, it tastes like 1% milk, but only like a little flatter. 
but it's not flatter because it's thick, but like in taste, it's a little bit flatter than like 1%, somewhere between 1% and skim milk, but much thicker. That's Which, how I feel about that. Would you drink that again? No. <laughs> As you can see, we're literally headed towards the beach right now, uh, which you just seen right now. And we're about to get some towels, we're about to party it up. It's hot, but today is not the hottest day. And as you can see, this is paradise, so go ahead and check it out. Maybe four. Thank you. Are you so happy to be on the beach in Dubai? Yes. Do they take care of us here or what? This is so nice. It is so nice. And in case you guys can't see our view, I'm gonna pan really quick up to the Burj Al Arab. And look at this water, guys. Like, honestly, this is amazing. Our resort has a private beach exclusively for the attendees here. And I mean, this is just, this water is crystal clear. It's crazy. The, the sand is like powder. And. The lifeguards stay on point 24-7, 365 here. <laughs> so go ahead and check this out, La La Land. Veronica and I are chilling on our beach chairs and one of the pool service guys came by and offered us fresh ice cold towels. Mmm. Like with this heat and this weather, bringing us ice cold towels was like the cherry on the top of the cake that like took took the award for the day. Like it is amazing. You have no idea, isn't that right, baby bird? Yes, it's so nice here. It's weird because like you can tell this is not natural <laughs> the water and like the beach with like the desert. <laughs> Cause you look over here and you can see like a tint of orange in the sky from like the desert sand. So it's weird, but like awesome. It's awesome guys. Dubai, big thumbs up for you. Hey guys, I'm so, so out of breath, but as you can see after our beach day, we went back to our villa, literally changed our clothes. As you can see, our own fleek baby. And now we're about to tour the city and uh, see a little bit more on the hop on hop off bus. Veronica and I are at a place called The Walk, which is literally on the beach. Dude, this, this place is breathtaking. Like, check this out. Guys, look at this. I mean, honestly, this is crazy, man. Guys, the real Madrid cafe in Dubai. Sun. <laughs> Guys, I believe we know what this is right here. It's real. Guys, check this out. So, La Dorie Patty has a restaurant here. Check it out, guys. It is a French bakery. Macaroons. The whole setup and outside. It is the ocean. And look who's getting some macaroons. Shocker. Guys. Okay. Guys, look how sweaty this girl is. You can't even see. Let me show you the glisten on her forehead. <laughs> I don't know why he thinks it's so funny when I'm sweaty. <laughs> We had to sprint back to the bus. We we're in the wrong location. It's it's so hot out here. You just have to laugh. Like you just have to laugh this shit off because like it's hot. Like it's this is real life issues. But I will say something. This city is on another level. I have never experienced anything like this in my entire life traveling anywhere. I mean, guys, listen. You know, I'm not. I don't get paid to say go to Dubai. I don't. You know, there's no endorsements in it for me. I, I would like endorsements if anybody's watching. They can do that. <laughs> However, that's not the case. I am truly having such a great time, and I would love for you, good people at La La Land, to come and check this out because this is this is mind blowing. Like we this have is, to come back in 2020. We have to. And why do we have to come back in 2020? They're they're opening something that they're calling the Mall of the World. Of the and world. It, and it's 
they have a lot of malls here and a mall is a mall is a mall but the way that this one is described is like something I've never heard of and it's happening their their grand opening is during something called Expo 2020 I have no idea what that is but I'm gonna find out and we'll probably come back for it because I, I think that even in what is that like four years five years five years I don't think we'll recognize the city anymore. I've never been somewhere where I saw so much happening in one place. It's it's truly like insanely amazing. And you know the funniest thing is I thought I was like, man, Los Angeles is growing, you know, all these all these new businesses, all these new companies, all this no. listen, no. We are on such a small level that it's like, man, like this shit is like it's getting real out here. These boys have real money out here. True story. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I am so sad because this is actually our last ride here. And it sucks, this place is paradise. Isn't that right, baby? Oh, look at that sad face. The struggle is so real. And as we're going, I'm just taking it all in right now. So is she. You can see right now. But your boy is sharp, cleaner than a whistle. Your girl's on point, looking good in the hood. And guess what's behind us? You guessed it, the Burj Khalifa. And guys, this joint, this joint is so massive, it is like taking up like 80% of the sky right now. Level C? Thank you so much. Uh, look at me, I look like crap. We are so high in this elevator, my ears are already popping. I, I, yeah, Veronica's ears are popping. Anyways, uh, we're going to Atmosphere, which is 123 floors up in the uh, Burj Khalif. Uh, we are very, very happy, but irritated that we had to walk that far. And when I say walk that far, like her nor I, I'm sorry, my ears are popping like crazy. Her nor I was expecting to have to deal with all this walking in the heat and our cab driver dropped us off the long vacation. Struggle is real. We're just now getting close to this area. As you can see, it is 123rd floor. Son, wish us luck. Guys, I don't know if you can see that, but we are in the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. We are on floor 123 guys honestly and we are walking to our reservation so guys right now we are at atmosphere if you don't know what atmosphere is in Dubai Google it but it is the, it's the tallest restaurant in the sky right it's exactly what I was about to say it's the highest elevated restaurant on planet earth we are at the Burj Khalifa which is the tallest building on planet earth and we are on the 123rd floor. So I know you guys seen the footage of us coming upstairs in the elevator. Um, by the way, that elevator moves very fast. It went from the ground level to 123 floors in like two minutes, not even. Um, but this place is so awesome. I'm gonna show you guys some views of the city that you know we're seeing, looking out of. And I'm gonna also show you some of the food. The food looks amazing. Uh, the ambience is everything. And once again, guys, we are so privileged and humbled to be able to come to a restaurant like this. And most importantly, we get to bring you guys with us. So I hope that you guys are enjoying all these vlogs. I hope you're enjoying our activities. Um, I mean, who else do you know going to the atmosphere on YouTube, okay? Boom. Okay guys, so since it is a slow night tonight, the chef brought us out a couple of treats as compliments. Uh, compliments means they're free, free. And uh, they just kind of want you to try what they're concocting back there. So here's our compliments for the night. Mm. 
We just had some form of asparagus, lobster scone. That thing was everything. It was an ice cream cone. It was literally an ice cream cone. This wasn't like a sweet wafer cone, but it was really good. It was so good that my girl asked for another complimentary to the complimentary. What's the problem with that though? No problem, I guess. I'm just saying. If you guys tasted what I just tasted, you would ask for another one too. So we're gonna try one of the other hors d'oeuvres, complimentary. And this is like a pop tart or something. I don't even, I'm not really sure exactly what this is, but it smells delicious. It smells very buttery, it smells delicious by the way. It goes nothing. Good. Like, what we'll describe it? The bread inside in the center of it is baked with some kind of a cheese, but it's not like gooey. It's literally bread texture, but it brings so many layers because on the outside it's like a crumble, and the inside is really flavorful. It's delicious, guys. It is delicious. Who would have thought? It's reminiscent of a goldfish, but only like way better in like homemade goldfish. For the Michelin star chef in the kitchen cooking, I apologize about, about that goldfish comment. It's so good. The guy that spent the last 35 years of his life crafting this, I apologize that my girlfriend comes fresh out of La La Land and says it reminds her of a goldfish. Of, but I love goldfish, that's like a huge compliment. Cream cheese on it. I don't like cream cheese. It was delicious. It was a like a, a small like puff pastry cream cheese. Um, I believe it was some from a caviar on top. That's what it tastes like. But it was really good. I enjoyed it. Veronica did and more for me, I guess. Last but not least, it's a pastry. I have no idea what's inside. I can't wait to figure it out. But it looks divine. It smells like. Buttery baked goodness. Here goes nothing. I honestly don't know. What does it taste like? It's a cheese. It's not strong. It's runny. It, it's, a, it's a very runny cheese. You almost can't even taste the fact that it's cheese, but it's delicious. Veronica forfeited her stuff. Look what the guy brought us. I'll take it to the head. <laughs> You've seen my veal belly. You've seen Veronica's. What was that again? It's just. It's beef right Filet. It's uh, the beef. It's wagyu meat which is anybody knows what we mean, it's like a wildly high quality of meat. And it's uh, a 
filet, so it's out of its world. But they didn't grill it, it was like slow roasted, and I don't know if I've ever had meat this tender in my entire life. It is delicious. And she has some bone marrow. Veronica's a, a carnivore, I don't know if you guys can see that, so. Other days, new areas, and now we get the more resistance. Yeah, man, this is uh, the city. <laughs> the city is growing so yes. fast here, man. This is the video right here. Look who I got right now. <laughs> this guy is awesome. If you guys are ever in Dubai, check this man up. Trust me, at Atmosphere, at the Burj Khalif, this dude is the shiznit. <laughs> it's okay, guys. That was like the most awesome dinner ever. We're about to hop on this elevator that is going to take us 123 stories down. Wish us luck. Honey, how did you enjoy your dinner? I loved it. You loved it. Dubai. So check this out, guys. I'm literally just leaving my dinner and look at my view of the tallest building on planet Earth, the Burj Khalif in Dubai. Son, we here. Me and baby lives. Isn't that right? Yes. Look, baby. What's that? What am I looking at? Our selfie. Look at my love. She's so cute trying to get selfies and shit. So guys, as you can see, we had the most amazing dinner ever at Atmosphere. Which if you're ever in Dubai, please check it out. It is the highest standing restaurant on planet earth you can't see the lighting is really bad right now anyways it is the highest standing building on planet earth it is everything uh roman that was the guy that was waiting on us he was uh, assisting us this man was amazing Did such a great job made us feel so warmed and welcomed and comfortable here um we're actually on the final boat ride you see those sad faces it's so real this place has been a paradise. Everything about this resort, everything about this city. I mean, I am just so privileged and, you know, humbled to be here and this makes me feel so good. It makes me want to go back and work so much harder, pump those videos out, give you guys great quality, which you've already been getting, but amp it up a little bit. Okay guys, thank you so much for tuning in today and watching all the festivities that we did today. Listen, this is, has been, the most epic, iconic trip ever. I mean, I feel physically refreshed, mentally refreshed, spiritually refreshed by coming to Dubai and, you know, being in the city, this fast-growing, luxurious city, you know, filled with so much amazing history and this beautiful culture. And I am so excited that I could share that with you guys. Also, you know, I will say this, guys, and I have to take time out on this to say this for a second. The spirit of the people here, the city, you know, the vibe of the city, the, the, the rhythm of the city, everything about this place makes me feel so great. It makes me feel fantastic. And I feel like if any of you guys ever get the opportunity or the chance to go, please, please, please come here because it is amazing. And when I tell you that I have been to a lot of places in my life and this is definitely on the top. This is definitely on the top of, of the scale. So, you know, like I said, for everybody that has been part of this journey, I want to thank you guys. For you guys new to La La Land that are part of this journey, I want to thank you guys too because you guys are definitely keeping this bad boy rolling. And once again, this is only half the trip, guys. So today, Dubai, tomorrow, the Maldives, and I cannot wait to show you guys what the Maldives brings. I feel like I've been recording like crazy. I've been all around the clock. I've been, you know, pushing, missing reservations, doing all this stuff to make sure that you guys get video quality, you guys get, you know, what you deserve, and you guys are in the loop so that you're experiencing this trip with me. Listen, guys, we love you. Keep, keep supporting us. We'll keep making great quality for you. And once again, if you like what you see, give me that big thumbs up. Make sure to comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Until tomorrow, La La Land, peace.